How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I am going to do my shout out Saturday. And also I'm going to share with you guys my top five favorite drugstore primers. So if you guys would like to hear what my top five favorite primers are and who the shout out is, then keep on watching. Okay, so let's do the shout out first. And it's supposed to be on Saturdays that we do the shout out. And sadly, like, uh, we've been getting storms like crazy. Like, there was just one just a little bit ago. So, yeah, internet kind of was down, and I didn't get a chance to film for the Saturday shout out. And then Sunday, um, I already had a video clamp already set to go. So, I just wanted to make sure that I got this in because um, this beauty here has a wonderful channel and I wanted to make sure I still contribute to doing the shout outs with everybody. So this is Sherry Nicholson. She is from Canada, so she's one of our Canadian beauties. And um, I've been watching her for probably about a month, I would say now. She's still relatively new to me. So what I've gathered from Sherry is um, she has a lovely personality. She, I know a lot of people always say about my voice and um, it's soothing, but hers is definitely there. It's a very soft, soothing uh, voice that she has, very calming. Um, she seems very genuine, very sincere. She's just, um, just like one of us who really love their beauty products. She uh, does do reviews. She does do looks. Um, of course, she shows some products that are from Canada, too, um, which I always like to see products from different countries. Sometimes you, we can't get them here and vice versa for them. So sometimes it's like, oh, man, you'll see something that's, you know, you you want to purchase it, but you might not be able to. Um, but I really like her. I've really been enjoying her. I think she has a great channel going. And um, I would love for you guys to go and show her some love and subscribe and um, tell her that I sent you along and um, she really deserves a lot more I feel subscribers than what she has right now I just really feel she's such a genuine wonderful person and I really enjoy her so yes would you guys please go and subscribe and check her out and uh, show her some love and tell her that I sent you I really appreciate that so thank you so much guys so let's go on to my top five favorite primers. My five, top five favorite drugstore primers. Um, I'm not sure if I have five enough for to say I could do a five for high end. I'm not sure. I'll look into it because I do have several or quite a few. So I'll have to see if there's actually five there. But these, these are favorites of mine. And I thought I'd go ahead and put them in here. So... The first one I'm going to talk about is this one here, which is from Garnier, and it's the 5 Second Blur. A lot of people have talked about this product before, you know, many times. Um, it does have a pink, sort of like a pink look, almost like a pink look to it. Now, if I did have to compare it to a high-end uh, feel of a product. Um, I would say it is kind of comparable to uh, Mally's uh, Poreless uh, Perfecting Primer. Um, and they're, they both feel pretty much close to the same. This does, you this here, you can feel a little more of the silicone in it. You can feel the slickness of the silicone in it. However, when you put it on and everything, by the time you put it on, to me, it almost feels like it, it um, dries up into powder, like a powder finish or something. I don't know. I don't notice it so much after it dries up and everything. And so I would, I would say it does blur the pores, put it that way. I'm trying to get used to this lipstick. I'm not sure. Tell me what you guys think about it. I'm not going to tell you what the lipstick is is well it's a liquid lips it is a liquid lipstick but um i just got it not too long ago and i'm i'm not sure it's not i'm always used to matte 
map and stuff. So let me know. Anyway, let's go back to the primer. So I really like that one. Um, it is a very nice drugstore primer. I'm not even sure how much the price for that one is, to be honest. I was thinking it was over $10, but I'm not sure, but I'm thinking it is. So there's that one. Actually, I'm going to make this one the next one. And this is a spray bottle. This you see me use a lot afterwards to set my makeup, but it is considered a sheer, it's a sheer and dehydrating primer mist. Um, it's a 12 hour, 12 hour power uh, product. And this is from Hard Candy. Um, now I haven't tried it because like apparently you can go and spray it, let it dry and then put your foundation on and use it as a primer. Um, this I do, it is more of a setting one, setting thing for me, like to set my makeup and everything. So that's, this is what I use a lot to set my makeup more than anything, but it is a hydrating primer mist. And I figured I would give it an honor, honorable mention here because, you know, it, it is considered a primer only it's just a mist and it is, it is very nice. I do like the scent. I'm not too familiar with a lot of these uh, sprays like this, so I'm thinking I go up for around six or seven dollars, maybe. It's terrible, I can't even remember some of the prices on some of these. Okay, this here is the new Master Prime primer from Maybelline. There's several of these. I haven't tried them all. There's a couple other ones I wouldn't mind trying. This one I got, it says it blur, blur plus illuminate right there blur plus illuminate really like this primer and this one if i had to say if of what it reminded me of in a high end um is laura geller spackle um the ethereal one because of the way the coloring of this looks when you first get it out i'll show you so it kind of reminds me of that i mean it's not a dupe but it's just it almost reminds me of that in the way the coloring is. It has that, it has like a pink um, iridescence to it. Now this primer here, I use a lot whenever I have a, a foundation that doesn't have maybe too much dewiness or glow to it. Um, I add this one here. This, I don't feel too much of it. You can feel a little bit, but I don't really feel too much of the silicone in this one. But there you can see there the illumination that you get. And it smells good. I don't know. It does. It smells kind of good too. It does have that nice illumination to it. So I, I like it a lot. Um, it seems to blur my pores and everything. I believe I paid about $7 for this for sure. Because I know Maybelline's kind of in that ballpark. I'm pretty sure. These last two are kind of hard for me to say which one's my most favorite. It really is hard. It's like these two are t a tie for me. They seriously are. This one's from Rimmel. It's the Lasting Finish Primer and it comes in the red tube. It's for up to eight hours. This one's supposed to be up for eight hours or something like that. Um, I would say that's probably true because it seems to hold up on with my foundation very well. This here is an affordable primer that doesn't feel like the silicone, like you can't feel the silicone as much or even at all, If to be honest. I mean, it does have dimethicone, as the word dimethicone on there, so it does have the silicone. Yeah, you know, it, it feels to me like a moisturizer. It feels similar, somewhat like a moisturizer. So I don't feel the silicone in it. I have a lot of primer on my hand, but hey, my hand's going to look nice and smooth by the time everything's, everything's done. But it's it's a very nice um, primer. Um, I feel it's, you know, like a, kind of a hydrating, moisturizing little bit uh, primer. I don't feel it's too... I think somebody with oily skin could actually wear that one or try try that one. I feel like somebody with any skin tone could because I don't feel it's too slick or too oily, but it's not too drying. That's, I think, roughly like around 
uh, around six dollars almost seven dollars of a primer as well i guess if i did have to pick my most favorite drugstore primer um it would have to be the wet n wild coverall primer that i had talked to you guys about before and this guy here is like around four bucks five bucks uh you know wet n wild they're very affordable um and this if I had to compare it to a higher end primer, it would be the Too Faced uh, Hangover X or RX, whichever way it's supposed to be pronounced. I'm never sure. I have to pay attention to when somebody from Too Faced actually maybe says it on video because sometimes I hear a little both. Um, I could see why it looks like Hangover X and then I see why people say RX, but I don't know. But anyway, um, it, it is comparable to that. None of them, I would say, are dupes. Like whenever I'm saying they're comparable, they're like similar to, but I'm not going to say they're like an actual spot on dupe. Now this one here, and again, this, which I'm trying to smell. Um, now, the one thing that I think I do seem to smell from the wet and wild a little bit of a chemical smell maybe possibly um but this is it here i'm gonna put it on this hand and you can feel a little bit of the silicone a little bit not much nothing major major but once it goes on it just feels so soft so smooth and i i just i really like it. I like it a lot. Um, I do feel like it's another one that kind of maybe hydrates. That one, I don't know if somebody with oily skin could. You could give it a try. I would say more the Rimmel one. Um, this one's maybe a little more, I guess, thinner in texture. This one feels a little more thicker, so that's why this one feels a little more like a moisturizer. All of these do blur my pores or help for my pores to look blurred and everything and help my um, application for my foundation. Um, I have really liked um, all of them. So don't forget to check out Sherry Nicholson. So please go and check her channel out. I'll put her link down below. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that so much. And um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week. And uh, yeah, let me know about this lip, lip color here, what you guys think. I think I like it. But we'll see. I, I, I think. We'll see. Because I'm not always big on matte. As always, bees, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real bees shine through. So until the next time, you guys take care. I will see you then. Love you. Bye.